figure in the room and I don't know what to say And I don't know what to do but I'm looking for a change So I'm telling him the truth and it's written on his face as Oh shit, here we go again Lifestyle shitty, lifestyle great got the sussy right here so i'm just gonna pretend like i was like editing something um i have bug lady on but then i have the sussy right down over here so we'll see if anything happens oh what's up lonely okay. all right bro why did i come into twerking ass for the money <laughs> what do you mean oh oh i forgot about that i like how you're recording that too <laughs> Now you know I've been bored for the past couple of hours. I just want to show you a specimen of a human being right here. Look at this man. Yeah. Now I just want to. Come here, Mr. Josh. By the Lord of oh, God. <laughs> Off the sun. Damn. Off the sun. <gasps> Off the holy oh, fire. God damn. Uh, nah. Hey, what the hell is that, bro? What the hell are you doing, bro? Oh, you know, st you know just, just stick it up my ass real quick, man. Oh. Day three of being bored in this house. I know he has told me that I can literally take his cars and drive around, but I don't know, if I feel like I'm in a new location, I feel like doing absolutely nothing. Like I haven't even done anything for editing wise. I've been watching some reruns of Gordon Ramsay shows and all that. And now my curiosity is getting to the point where like I just found something that actually was under his desk that I've been very curious about. This is how my curiosity is going to be. All right, move that. Look at that chat. I'm on the hoverboard after like 10 years of like when it was invented. This is how you know I'm like a big child. Whenever I like look at things and I get my curiosity in a pinch, so I just start like looking around. Okay, ooh, ooh, okay. I'm getting the feel now. Okay, ooh, all right. All right, chat, I'm gonna try to do something really crazy. I'm gonna try to spin myself in one spot as fast as I can. Hopefully I do not break anything. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm sorry that you have to watch this. Let's just move on, shall we? <laughs> So, I'm in San Antonio, but I'm actually doing a little bit of a ghost tour. We had a friend that actually was celebrating her birthday and we decided to go on this ghost tour, but it was actually not really a ghost tour. It was mostly more of a history lesson on the haunted places in San Antonio. Our tour guide was actually a little bit of a funny person, so she had a lot of adult humor while also trying to teach us the haunted places around. So some of the jokes may actually offend you, and if you guys are not into that, I do highly recommend and then you should go ahead and skip this part of the video. And one crucial detail I just found out because I was actually gonna show this person the video, but then I found out in their store FAQ, I was actually not supposed to record any part of the tour. So to protect the person's identity as well as the reputation of the actual place, I'm actually gonna blur out our tour guide. That way I won't get in any sort of trouble, she won't get in any sort of trouble and vice versa. But if you guys are okay with it, Enjoy this part. Yeah, I'll keep it low key. 
Yes. How many things have those? That's Seven. not low key. Anyone been to the banker box? You guys don't raise your hands. You're all like 12. Okay. <laughs> no, Don't worry, it's a really thick wall. It has a couple bodies in it. I'm about to fondle someone's arm. But the really cool thing about that is that they would stay here and if you lived in the settlement of San Antonio, if a crime was being committed, you would come and you were reported to these busy and hardworking officers. So I'm gonna use you two as an example. Yeah, you can step forward or I can use Haley, she can die too. Uh, so <laughs> let's just say I have to report a crime in San Antonio. It's 1840, you're owned by him. <laughs> you have no voting rights. And he brought you from Philadelphia all the way out to San Antonio, Texas, where you are so excited for it, and you're also 14 years old. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I love it. Hey, it was normal back then, okay? But let's just say, how would your mindset be if he was like, I'm gonna start a new life with you in San Antonio? You would probably not be super happy, right? You'd be like, great, right? Right? Well, it's okay. You'd make friends here, and this is what your friends would do. If you were to commit- This is actually our life. It's so fun. <laughs> this is the, you guys oh, had no. a, really? Yeah, we moved from Pittsburgh. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, my here. God. <laughs> I've never well, guess what, baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you- She's older than 14. <laughs> 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 she has so, like, she pulls her ID and, like, <laughs> This is so convenient for me. Like, I've never been right. Yesterday, I had a brother and sister do this. And I was like, and I found out half, I literally found out halfway through that it was a brother and sister. I was like, and your husband. She goes, excuse you? I was like, I was like, step sibling? And if you didn't have a husband, we just hang your son or your cousin or your employer or your dad, whoever we really can find. If you saw a guy in the street once, we just hang that one right here. <laughs> Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that part of the video. Now this part, I mean, I had a lot more footage, but it was actually just like our group exploring the Manger Hotel, which if you guys don't know, is actually one of the most haunted hotels in San Antonio. And they actually booked a room in the Manger Hotel. So we actually just went around and actually try to find some sort of entities in there And then I kind of like stopped recording at that part because later on Austin and I had to like go dip out head back home and Those three that was in the group as well actually slept in their hotel room One place that we almost booked like a couple of years ago Yeah, but I think we I don't think we have ever denied that I think everyone else denied it I was down for it Hmm, there's a bunch of marks on the mirror. They did not clean this yeah. at all. It's like white residue. Yeah, whoever. Hey guys, do you see the writing on this? What? There's like writing. Writing? Well, I can't pick out words. Let me get some more dicks. Oh, I just go. <laughs> all I can make out is just that big O right here, maybe an H. Nothing. M? M. There's something uh, back here. Oh. Bro, you're not gonna move that thing. No, there's some, like, seriously something back there. Well, yes, yeah, so there might be something back there, but why the fuck would you move that? So, that's pretty much the end of that vlog. Part three will come out next, and it will be a favorite. So, you know what? I'll just show you guys a sneak peek of part three.